Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we will talk about subsection, which is the bypass authentication with brute force attack. On the first stage, let me tell you what is the brute force stands for. A common threat web developer faces is a password guessing attack, known as a brute force attack. A brute force attack is an attempt to discover a password by semantically trying every possible combination of letters, numbers, and symbols until you discover the one correct combination that works. If your website requires user authentication, you are a good target for a brute force attack. An attacker can always discover a password through a brute force attack, but the downside is that it could take years to find it depending on the password strength, password length, and complexity. Hackers launch brute force attack using widely available tools that utilize word list and smart rule set to integratively and automatically guess user passwords. Although such attacks are easy to detect, they are not easy to prevent. As I earlier said, if your website requires user authentication, you are a good target for a brute force attack. Now let's start by how to do brute force attack. Now to test this kind of vulnerability, we need the perp suit. On the first stage, we have to configure our perp suit. On the first stage, we need to configure our perp suit. To configure perp suit, go to proxy option and select here interface and click on the edit and choose the specific address which is 127.0.0.1 and click OK. So we have successfully set up our burp suit. Now it's time to set up our browser. So go to tools option here, then here options, go to advanced, then network, then setting and choose here manual proxy configuration which is 127.0.0.1 and set port as a 8080 and click OK. Now whenever you visit any website from browser, let's say I will mix the perp will intercept the, our traffic. So let's try to brute force on this login page. So on the first stage I will on this intercept is on and in the username I will type let's say admin and in password let's say I tap the tap. Now you can see here the burp suit started intercepting our traffic. So I will just go ahead and click on this forward button. So you can see here the username admin is incorrect. So we got our target now, now it's time to brute force. Go to history tab here and in, go to the login page and click on the right and send to intruder. Now this is the intruder option. This is the target, host, port, this is the position. So here we have to uh, choose our payloads. On this stage we don't need this cookie and WP setting. So select all of this and choose the clear. Also, we don't need this redirect to and test cookie. Select that and choose the clear. The attack type is our cluster bomb because we are using the multiple uh, payload here, which is the log, admin, test, and login. So we have here th three payloads. First one is the admin, which is the username. Second one is the password, which is the test. And third one is the WP submit, which is the login. So now it's time to configure our payload. I will simply copy this and go to payload section. You can see here we have three payloads, so three total count here. So on the first stage, we have the username field here. So I will choose the payload first and here I will type admin or you can load your username list from here. I will choose the username here. Uh, if you have the uh, pro version of burp suit, the username and password list is automatically generated from here. You can see here the, the pro version only, no, not available in free additional. So uh, if you have the burp suit pro version, you can directly add username from by clicking here. So as we have, we are using the free edition. So I normally 
loaded usernames from my hard disk. So we have set up our payload first. Now time to set up payload 2 which is the password. I will go ahead and choose this set to 2. Again password I will choose the admin. Again load. I simply choose the username here. So we have now set up our payload 2. Now set, let's set up payload 3 which is the login here. I will simply choose here 3 and enter. So we have successfully uh, set up our payload here. Now it's time to do some attack. You can see here request count which is the 2 lakh and 49001. So everything is set up here. Now it's time to do attack. Go to the intruder tab here and click on the start attack button. You can see here the for free addition message. Uh, I will ignore this by clicking OK. So the intruder attack started. You can see here the combination here. On the first stage, well, our first payload is admin. Second admin means this is the username, password, and payload three login. You can see here status three zero two. It means that the uh, on the username admin and password admin, the login is successfully and return is three zero two redirect message. I will uh, just uh, let's check and response up here. You can see here HTTP one point zero three zero two found. On the others, if you look at the this one, let's ch check this. On the response stage, if we look at the response here, you can see invalid username, which means that this is the invalid logins. You can see here the bot is working now 24 out of the two two like 49,000. Now it's taking the 26th after that 27 and so on so on so this is the how the really uh, brute force attack works mm, so on the next video we will talk about the username enumeration technique so see you guys on the next movie